NHL coaches like Blue Jackets coach John Tortorella finding themselves in a very tough spot these mm -hmm. days for the for the past six weeks. Yeah, definitely. coach has been away from his team. Yeah, he's trying to find unique ways to keep his team united and competitive. Sports director Jerry Smalley talking to Tortorella today about the coach's idea to keep these guys mentally sharp. Hi, Jerry. Uh, Brad Darlene, uh, neither John nor uh, Tortorella, none of his assistant coaches, none of the players uh, who are not on injured reserve, none of them have been at Nationwide Arena, none of them have been around each other since uh, all this began back in mid-March. So how does a coach te keep a team together, engaged, competitive, motivated, all those good things? Well, Coach Tortorella came up with a speed quiz. It goes out every Friday morning, and it is no joke. It's a competitive thing that it's turned out to be. That's caused a little stir and some communi communication uh, that I can't even talk about here as far as what being said. <laughs> For competitive people, the Blue Jackets speed quiz fulfills a need. But with players of varying ages from around the world, no quiz would be easy for everyone. They're cheating. That's what they're doing. So I, I have to change the rules every week. Like one of my questions was who will be the last one to answer this quiz? If you go on Google, you, you're gonna, it's gonna be probably 30 minutes. So, you know, you have to just check and, you know, just, you know, just uh, learn. And if you don't know, just, you know, you don't know, you can't do anything about that. The first five players to respond correctly earn points, and the winning players will get to sit out extra conditioning whenever the team can resume practice. So far, it's Nathan Gerby with the clubhouse lead, and to the winners go the spoils. And they can assign that conditioning to another teammate. So there's a little bit of incentive here as far as uh, going about our business. It's turned into a lot of fun. The players have been assigned workouts by the team's conditioning staff, but otherwise, Tortorella and his staff are leaving them alone for the most part. I'm not sending him tape on break this down and what went wrong in this goal. God, Jared, I can barely get them to do it when we're in season. I'm certainly not going to do it when we're, uh, when we're involved in this. So we're trying to have some fun and communicate that way. <laughs> I've missed John Tortorella. He's the absolute best uh, to talk to. Uh, you might be wondering, what's in the quiz, right? Well, Brad and Darlene, some of the questions involve uh, current NHL uh, players uh, hockey history, Blue Jackets history, history of the city of Columbus is an example. And one question Tortorella asked in one of the uh, first uh, t uh, quizzes that went out to the players, he asked them, which player is le least likely to respond to this quiz? And he actually said that he's still waiting for some responses from some of his players who have yet to chime in. Uh, so they may not be doing very well when <laughs> camp finally does resume. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, consequences. Jared, thank you.